Minecraft's most evil player once tormented the entire overworld. Through fear, he would force all to do his bidding, and eventually would even sell his soul to transform the lands into a hellscape of his own design, torturing players until his ultimate downfall. In his quest to make everyone's lives miserable, this evil player would often raid player bases for what few resources they had, before blowing them up with TNT. Creating a large network of automatic pit traps, he would also harvest unsuspecting players of their valuables and have their items sent straight back to his fortress. Whole forest biomes would burn just to make it harder for others to find wood, while his men would be sent to raid caves so that there would be no ore left to mine. Along with this, he also made it a habit to destroy every village he could find. Sometimes, he would kidnap the villagers and force them into large trading farms, while other times, he would just kill them. One night, he was watching his forces decimate one of these poor villages. Screams of terror could be heard as villagers were slaughtered left and right. The evil player, named Mace, laughed to himself. These creatures were pathetic. Just then, he noticed a player tossing a map to a group of villagers. The group then began to run away, only to be quickly surrounded. Killing the villager, Mace grabbed the map, but was unable to read its markings. Demanding an explanation, the player refused, and angered by this, Mace ordered his men to kill half of the villagers, cutting them down without mercy as the player begged him to stop. Again, Mace demanded an explanation, and filled with guilt, the player agreed, revealing that this map held the location of a secret player village outside of his control. Mace was furious! Every other villager was immediately slain in front of the player's eyes. Mace then instructed some of his men to take the player away to his dungeon before heading off towards this secret player village. The evil player and his men traveled for days before eventually coming across a large cave entrance. Upon entering, they were greeted by a flourishing village filled with players and mobs alike. Everyone seemed so happy. He had to put a stop to this. Blowing into a horn, his men instantly descended into the village, burning buildings and slaying anything in their path. The startled players panicked at the surprise attack and ran away, only to be cornered by Mace's forces. One of the players pulled out a sword and stepped forward in defiance. Suddenly, he was shot down by a crossbow bolt as the evil player revealed himself. Anyone else? No one spoke. Mace ordered his men, and they began leading everyone away as their homes burned. He had special plans for these pathetic weaklings. They traveled for hours before suddenly coming to a stop in a clearing. Some of the hungry players had been falling behind and Mace was getting frustrated. He ordered his men to pull aside the slow ones as he would have to make an example of them. Terrified, the players were lined up in a column as he loaded his crossbow. Stop! He snapped around, annoyed at the interruption, only to see his old friend named Evan. Evan tried to save the players by appealing to Mace's humanity, reminding him of the player he used to be. Unfortunately, though he didn't know it, Mace had always been a miserable player. From the very beginning, he saw others wearing their fancy diamond armor and enjoying their lives, while he kept getting attacked by creepers and could barely piece together enough iron for a helmet. Even Evan had been lucky in his adventures, and though he would share his wealth with Mace, it always felt out of pity. Believing that it was unfair, he decided to start taking from others. Starting small, he would harvest their crops without replanting and kill their livestock. However, as time progressed, he became emboldened by this new mindset. Digging tunnels underneath other players' houses, he would raid their chests of valuables, and eventually, he had stolen enough to become the strongest player in the land. Remembering his past angered Mace, and he immediately shot a piercing bolt through the hungry players' hearts. He thought about killing Evan, but then had a more evil idea. I'll deal with you later. Calling out to his men, the group continued on their journey. Traveling through the night, the group eventually came to a stretch of road, and as they got closer, were met with a terrible sight. Cats, even kittens, were hung up in tiny cages all along the sides and were meowing out in sorrow. Mace laughed out as he witnessed their horrified reactions. Over the years, the evil player had developed a special hatred for creepers. They were horrible mobs that would always ruin his plans. So he came up with a solution. As he destroyed various villages, he would tame their strays and bring them back to his fortress. Hanging them up in little cages, they would stay trapped scaring away creepers for the rest of their lives. 
Continuing forward, the group was led to Mace's fortress, and soon they found themselves in a large dungeon surrounded by cells full of players. As they were being locked in one of these cells, the players noticed a group of villagers being led away. Mace ordered his guards to take the villagers off to the trading farms. Terrified, one of the villagers ran. He would rather die than be exploited for his trades. However, with nowhere to run, he was quickly recaptured. And lock this one away in my favorite cell. As the villagers were led off to the farms, the evil player looked around at the players he had imprisoned. Sleep well. You will need all of your energy, especially you, Evan. He laughed as he walked out of the dungeon towards his quarters. As the sun rose the following day, the evil player and his men arrived in the dungeons and started ordering Evan and the other players out of their cells. Forcing them forward, they came to find themselves in what looked to be a half-built coliseum. Throwing building material at the players, the guards shouted at them to start building. Mace watched as one of them demanded food and quickly shot him through the head. These players just never seemed to learn. Terrified after seeing this, the rest of the players immediately began building up the arena. It was a dangerous job, and everyone had to fend for themselves as they toiled away for days. Some would die from phantom attacks, while others fell to their doom. While they worked, Mace took special notice of Evan. Even though he had been imprisoned and forced to work, he still went out of his way to help others around him. This sickened the evil player. He knew Evan was just as selfish as the rest, and he was going to prove it. Eventually, the Colosseum was finished. Pleased, Mace motioned to his men, and they began throwing out an assortment of rotten flesh and poisonous potatoes. Starving, all of the players began to pile on the food fighting each other in a mad dash to secure even one bite. Unwilling to harm his fellow players, Evan just watched, horrified. The survivors were then herded back towards their cells, while Mace smiled devilishly. Tomorrow, his fun would really begin. The next day, the evil player ventured down to the dungeon once more. This time, he selected two players, Evan and the other he had previously caught helping the villagers. The guards led them away and brought them both into the center of the Colosseum they had finished building the day before. Scores of Mace's men were watching them from above, with the evil player sitting on a throne. So nice of you to join us. I've been looking forward to your duel. As he said this, a guard tossed each of them a stone sword and shield. Both players looked at each other before refusing to fight, but Mace knew how to sway them. The winner will be awarded a stack of fresh steak and their freedom. Evan still wasn't convinced, but the other player immediately swung at him, knocking him back. Staggering, Evan was filled with fear as he raised his shield to block another attack. Mace watched the battle with pure joy. He knew Evan would either break and be forced to kill the other player, or he would die. Either way, Mace would win. Evan tried to reason with the player, but it was no use. Lost to his hunger, he just continued swinging wildly. Seeing no other options, Evan deflected the next hit and struck back at the player, killing him instantly. Mace laughed out proudly. There, you see? I never needed your pity. You're no better than me. Evan was horrified. He had only meant to knock him away. He had no idea how weak he already was. Mace and his men then surrounded Evan before leading him out of the arena, deeper into the evil player's fortress eventually reaching a strange chamber with an iron door in the center. Now for your reward, as promised. Mace pulled a lever, and suddenly the door underneath Evan swung open. Falling through the hole, he hit the ground hard, soon realizing that he was trapped inside a large obsidian box. The trap doors slammed shut as the evil player walked away laughing, feeling more powerful than ever. As months went on, more players were forced to fight for Mace's amusement. Each player would then meet the same fate as Evan, and eventually, the underground hole became just as packed as the dungeon. In the mornings, Mace's men would come by and drop a few poisonous potatoes, sometimes dropping other items down by accident. Players always fought over the food, but more would end up dead than were able to eat. A few tried to escape. However, after breaking through multiple layers of obsidian, they found the walls surrounded by lava. Every day, the evil player would come by and stare into the pit before leaving on his evil adventures. He loved the desperate looks of the players, and more than anything, relished in seeing Evan a broken man. 
fueled by their sorrow, Mace would then continue throughout his days, making Minecraft worse for everyone. Going back out into the world, he would destroy others' homes, slaughter their loved ones, and break their spirits. No one would enjoy their lives as long as he lived. It was one of these days, while reminiscing on all he had accomplished, that he felt a twisted sense of pride. He had completely conquered the players and mobs of this land, yet he found himself unsatisfied. What else could he do to make other players miserable? Just then, he had an idea. What if he conquered the land itself? He had always admired the nether dimension for its hellish appearance and the suffering it brought players. Sometimes, he would even force players inside just to watch them die. If he could terraform the overworld to make it more like the nether, no player would ever be happy again. How would he possibly do it though? As if his thoughts had been read, a portal suddenly appeared behind Mace. Turning around, he looked to see a strange figure dressed in red wizard robes. So you want to spread the nether's influence into your dimension? Taken aback, the evil player nodded. The man introduced himself as the nether guardian and said he'd been trying to find someone like Mace for a very long time. Most players hate my realm, but you seem to thrive in it. I can grant you the powers you seek. Stretching out his arms, the wizard cast a powerful spell over the player. Startled, his skin began to mutate into a netherish mess, and his eyes began to glow. Feeling a power like he had never experienced before, Mace laughed out maniacally. Immediately, he struck down the Nether Guardian. Amazing! With this power, he would be truly unstoppable. He hastily searched for a fitting biome, eager to test his new abilities on the world. However, while this was happening, the players were breaking out of their prison. Finally, smashing through the iron doors, the players led by Evan emerged from the obsidian pit. Over the months, the careless guards had thrown in one item too many. Using dirt, a sapling, and some bone meal, these players had managed to grow a tree and used its wood to climb back to the surface. Quickly, they they overwhelmed the guards with their numbers and began freeing the other prisoners. While this was ongoing, the now cursed evil player was having the time of his life. Casting his spells upon the land, he was able to change blocks into their nether equivalents. Spotting an adventuring player, he quickly terraformed the water around him into lava, burning him instantly. He was even able to transform a group of pigs into hoglin beasts before they screamed out in agony and were turned into rotting zombies by the air of the overworld. This was too perfect. Even the beasts of the nether could suffer here. Terraforming more of the overworld, Mace then looked around, taking in its wondrous beauty. Beauty. Soon, the whole world would be his nether playground. Suddenly, he heard a loud explosion coming from the direction of his fortress. Turning to see his base on fire, he became enraged and flew off towards the disturbance. Upon reaching his castle, he saw players running around everywhere. How did they escape? No matter. With his new powers, he would easily be able to deal with them. He began casting fire around the castle. Players ran screaming as some of them got caught up in the flames. <laughs> Run, you worthless insects! Just then, he was hit with a powerful bolt. Knocked to the ground, he looked up to see Evan reloading his crossbow. The evil player got up and was furious. You think that crossbow can stop me? No, but this can. Evan shot Mace with another bolt, knocking him back into a hole in the floor. Hitting the ground, Mace was dazed and looked up to find himself in the very obsidian pit he had locked the players away in. Only now, there were stacks of TNT surrounding him. Pulling out a redstone torch, Evan quickly lit the fuse. Without time to react, the evil player watched in horror as the explosives chained together, creating a massive blast. The evil player was finally dead. 